Hello users. In today's video, we will be talking about this amazing cash management application called Cashbook, where it is very easy to manage our income and expenses. So to use this application, you can see in the bottom segment there are two buttons, cash in and cash out. Cash in means whenever the money is coming to me and cash out means whenever the money is going away from me or I am paying for the transaction. So to make a cash in entry, just tap on the cash in button in the left corner down. Now let's say I have got 5000 rupees from Rachit. See my total net balance is 5000. My total cash in is 5000 which is in the green color and my total cash out is zero. Now we'll make a cash out entry. Um, cash out button as you can see in the bottom right right I'll just tap on that uh, let's say I've spent 200 rupees on petrol and you know you can also add image with your entry suppose I want to add that petrol receipt I can attach image I can either use my camera either I can click that image directly or I can use it an image from my gallery I'll just make this cash out entry save it's done so in this way you can add your further entries we'll make one more cash out entry so let's say i've spent 1000 rupees on shopping uh, in cashbook we offer one more feature you can make backdated entries you can also change the timing let's say i've spent uh, this 1000 rupees on 1st of september so i'll just go to this calendar i'll choose the date 1st of september I can even change the timing right on the right side top you can see the time uh, I'll change it to 12 p.m. and I'll just save it so now you see on 1st of September I have added one entry right and similarly I can also add an entry for the future date in the cashbook app you can also create multiple cashbooks one might be for your business transactions, one might be for your home expenses and one might be for your pocket money, anything, right? So to make a new cash book, you can see in the top left, there is new cash book return, which was there by default. I'll just go there and in the bottom segment, you can see add new. I'll add a new cash book. I'll name it my home expenses. And here I've created a new cash book and similarly I can make entries like we saw earlier. Now if I want to delete a cash book, so I'll just go and in the right side you can see the three dots. I'll just go there and here I'm given the option to delete the book or either I can rename the book. So if I delete this book, it will ask me to type the exact name which I have given to this cash book. So I'll type in home expenses and then it will give me option to delete I'll just click on it and see my cash book is deleted now I only have one cash book which was there by default new book I can rename it as well right now you can see I have one cash book right which was there by default but I can rename it as well right I'll again click on these three dots I'll click on rename I'll make it my business expenses and here I am into this cash book. Now suppose if I want to delete some entry, right? I don't want to keep the record of the transaction. So how should I do that? I'll just long press on any entry which I want to delete. Even I can select multiple entries. Let's say I want to delete all these three entries. Now in the top, you can see there are multiple buttons. First one is to delete the entry. I'll just go there. It will ask me the confirmation and I'll just go with it. And you see all my transactions are deleted and once deleted your transactions cannot be recovered though all your data is being automatically backed up on our servers but the entry which you delete it cannot be retrieved back we'll end this video here thank you